Alright then guys, my name's Crackerjack and welcome back to another episode of my FIFA 20 career mode with Grimsby Town. Now, in the last episode, we did come up against a couple of, uh, you know, tough oppositions in the game that we played. I mean, we, uh, yeah, we played two games in the FA Cup, didn't we? And we, I think we, yeah, I can't, I can't even remember what we were playing. All I do know is that the last game, uh, at the end of last episode, was against Man City. Um, it was a home game. And as you can see, we lost 1-0. If you guys haven't watched it, I think, you know, if you go to towards the end of the last video, you'll see some of the highlights from that game. But we honestly were so unlucky not to come away with a win. Again, if you don't believe me, go and check out the previous video. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Uh, before we do get into this, but guys, um, just, yeah, just a reminder, if you do enjoy it, hit that like button. And if you're new, subscribe. All of the uh, support really, really does help. Uh, but yeah, so we moved on. We simmed forward a couple of games. We've got this 2-1 away win against Scumfork. Again, sensational performance from the lads. Then we came up against uh, Carlisle at home. We lost that one 3 1. Bit unfortunate in my eyes. And then we came up against Cambridge uh, at home. And I think Hassenfeller came off the bench and managed to score in the 60th minute. And we won that 1 0, as you can see on screen. So the first game we're playing in today's episode is going to be an away game against Cheltenham Town. Alright, then, guys, here we go. As you might notice, I have changed the camera uh, that I'm playing with, I've changed it to telly. Uh, I think it's called telly uh, or broadcast. I don't know what it is, um, but it just sort of makes it a lot like you can see a lot more of what's going on on the pitch. It might take a bit of getting used to, and obviously we have up the difficulty now to professional. And I'm not that great at FIFA, so yeah, maybe it, maybe uh, I just need to take it one change at a time. I don't know why my guy threw it in there, but luckily we got away with that. No, 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 no. We've committed our we've committed our defence. Oh my god, what is going on? Change the player that I want you to change to. No, 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 no. Oh, no, he just did a fucking rollover. No. Oh, my God, get it away, get it away, get it away. <laughs> How the hell have we got away with that? Oh, what is going on? We're giving the ball away way too often, guys. Come on, man. I know I haven't played FIFA in a while, but come on. That's it. Battersby, safe hands. It should be said, Battersby is actually going to be our starting goalkeeper I think for the rest of the season McKeown has been uh, out injured I think he's out injured for a couple of months so don't know if we'll make it back for the postseason if we reach the postseason but you know why are you passing it back there Hanson please oh, oh, oh come on oh through the legs oh oh Hanson it's your time no how 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 have we missed that Oh, come on, lads, please. I, I have to show the people that I am a good or at least an average FIFA player, please. Ref! Oh, come on. Look, look, look. My man's gone down injured now, Ref. Oh! Good tackle, good tackle. That's it. We might have to make a substitution in a minute. I just want to try and clear our line first. No, no, I said clear the lines! No! Oh, why? Okay, I can't take that anymore. I'm definitely going to make some substitutions. Oh, Cook, Cook, Cook. Still got it, still got it. No, no, don't turn into trouble, Cook. Uh, stop talking about the home. No, oh, what a beautiful ball that was. Unfortunately, he's got a touch of a donkey. No. Oh, my God, no. No, 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 no. Oh, fucking. No. <laughs> oh, my God. How are we still on level terms? Look at that solid head. I don't even know who that was, but oh my word. That's it, that's it. Get the ball, get the ball, get the ball. No! Oh, why? Ah, frustrating. I mean, away from home, getting a point is not too bad. I mean, when you consider how lucky we got, the opponents hit our crossbar or our woodwork at least twice in the game. So, I guess on the face of it, maybe we're a bit lucky to get away with a point. Um, but yeah, I really, I, I really need to get better at FIFA, guys. It finishes nil-nil. Okay, so we have actually made it through to the final of the leasing trophy.com or leasing.com trophy, not yeah, whatever. Um, but as always, and I don't think we've actually played a game. In this one, so we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna see it. You know, it's the final against Fleetwood. Hopefully, we can win. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Here we go, please. First bit of silverware for the club. Oh, guys. Oh, embarrassing humiliation. I mean, we rotated the squad. You can see Russell's in goal because Battersby picked up a bit of an injury. He's just coming back from it, and I didn't want to play him. I didn't want to risk him. Um, 
you know, we were unable to even score against Fleetwood, but hey ho, it happens, you know, 3 0. Um, yeah. Uh, our hunt for silverware still continues, guys. Alright then guys, so we have swimmed forward quite a bit now, obviously we started off the episode with that draw, 0-0 against Cheltenham, I don't know what happened guys, I'm just awful at FIFA, and you know, we really got lucky to, uh, to, to not concede in that game, obviously we hit the, or the opponents hit the uh, crossbar or the woodwork twice in that game, so really, really lucky, then we came up against Colchester in an away game, we lost that 2-1, Bit of an up and down period, you know, getting into the end of the season, uh, getting some, um, you know, where you're playing games, you know, every three or four days, which really does take the toll on the squad when you don't have enough depth like we don't. Then we came up against Plymouth, won that 2-0 at home again, getting back on form. We then move forward into April. We came up against Fleetwood Town, obviously in that Leeson.com trophy final, we did lose that 3-0, unfortunately, so... Uh, you know, I mean, we had simmed every game in that tournament up to now, and we've made it into the final. And, you know, to lose 3 0 is disappointing, but kind of expected, I guess. I don't know. Then we came up against Port Vale. We drew that one, 1 1, away from home. Then against Walsall, again, another home draw. Um, yeah, just one of those things. I mean, yeah, a point is better than none, I guess. So. Then we come up against Crew Alexandra. We won that one 2 1 away from home. And the final game that we did sim was against Newport. And we won that away from home 3 0. So, yeah, very good. You know, two wins on the bounce uh, puts us in real contention uh, in terms of the playoffs and automatic promotion. And we'll get into that in a minute. But if we have a look here, the last game in the season, in our first season in charge of Crimson Town, is a home game against Oldham on the 25th of April 2020. As I say, guys, let's go ahead check out the um, let's go and check out the table. Uh, if you have a look at the standings here in EFL League Two, you can see Colchester first at the moment. I mean, they're they're going to win the league. You know, they're seven points, eight points clear um, of Forest Green, and they're all on the same amount of games. We've all got one game left, so there's no chance. Colchester are EFL League Two champions for the 2019-2020 season, but there's Forest Green who are above us again, too far away from us, and you can see us there in third, occupying the final automatic promotion spot as it stands. Um, you look down, you've got Walsall on 79, Oldham on 78, Stevenage 76, and Scunthorpe on 71, and then you've got you know the battle for the last, uh, the battle for that last playoff position really does come down to the last day. You've got Southwood, Mansfield, and Scunthorpe all fighting for that. Stevenage, Oldham, Walsall, uh, and myself guaranteed at least a playoff. What would be really nice is that we come away with at least a draw. Because I guess if Walsall win and we get a draw, as you can see, there's two points between us. So we'll just be ahead on goal difference as long as we don't, you know, mess up or Walsall have a blinder game. I don't know. Um, ideally, we win it. Um, but obviously, we're not really that great at winning. I guess Stevenage you know they could still theoretically be above us on goal difference as well so i mean we're guaranteed at least a sixth place finish hopefully that's a third place guys i just realized as well our last game is against oldham and oldham are one of the teams that could potentially overtake us so yeah it's all to play for in this last game of the 2019 2020 season my first season in charge here at grimsby town let's go all right then guys here we go last game in the afl league two for this season at least hopefully we can get promoted we get we currently in third so i reckon a draw and we'll be okay uh for the automatic promotion but anything other than that i mean a win would be great a loss and we could be in playoffs so hopefully we can come away with all three points at least today let's go hansen straight off the bat ah oh. no 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 oh why did you stop running henry henry Ah, uh, do something! Oh, oh my God! Bradford of equalised against Walsall. Walsall. I can't even say the name correctly. I'm no, 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 no! Stop, stop speaking. Concentrate. Get your head in the fucking game. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! He's offside. Oh, oh! Good save, Batsby. Good save. We really need to get possession in their half. Come on, man! Come on, please, Hanson. Yes! Come on! That's what I'm talking about. Come on. 1-0. Yes, Hanson. I don't know what the celebration is. 
<laughs> oh, I don't even care, you know. I honestly don't care. One nil. Let's go, lads. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I mean, you enjoy it. Look at that. Hansen just gets past his man and he just gets close. Goalkeeper can't react in time. Come on, one nil. Oh, look at that nice little back heel. That's it. Oh, almost, almost. Hansen with the double. It's a nice little back heel flick. I think that was from Ogbu. One of you, one of you, one of you. Oh, whoa, my word. Battersby, safe hands. Go on, Ogbu! Oh! That was our chance to seal the deal. Oh, my word. Look at that. Nice little bit of play. Good interception there, though. See it out, see it out, see it out, see it out. Good. Good defending. I mean, we can see the corner, but that was good. Please, please. Away. Away. That's it, that's it. Ogbu, Ogbu, run away from your man. Don't run into him. One of you. Ah, he's dived. Oh, my word. Oh, that was heart in the mouth. I, don't, I wasn't too sure if it was a dive or if that was a penalty, but, you know, we got away with it. Hansen to Ogbu. Ogbu is away! Ogbu! Oh! Forces the goalkeeper to make another great save. Just gets away from his man there. Oh, good reaction save. Is it the time? Is it the time? Do we have to do this? There's two minutes to play. Are we going to be that person that just plays it into the corner? Oh! That's it. That's it. Play it back. Yes! Come on! The crowd erupts. Pure joy. We are going up. I say we are going up. We are going up. I say we are going up. Come on, Grimsby. Let's go. All right, then, guys. So it's just been confirmed uh, that we have just been promoted into EFL League One. And you can see the tournament or uh, the tournament prize money for EFL League 2 this season based on your performance in the competition the club has received additional funds these funds will allow us to increase the transfer budget allocation in the upcoming season and you can see we've won just over a million pounds so what can I say guys can't really complain about that it will help us out nicely moving into the next season so yeah I feel like League, League 1 is going to be a lot more difficult obviously um, and I feel like we're definitely going to have to you know recruit well in the summer transfer period so you know every little helps um, yeah absolutely amazing guys come on all right then guys so just to finish off this episode episode 9 of my career mode with Grimsby Town we're going to have a look at the final standings in EFL League 2 you can see Colchester as I said before we even played that game that last game against Oldham they were in first they were miles ahead of everyone else um, then we have Forest Green, again, they were miles ahead of me, I was never going to catch them. And then there's our Scrimsby Town in third place, played 46, 126, drawn 6 and lost 14. I think we've got one of the best defences, if not the best defence in the league. We maybe just need to improve on our, you know, our, our attacking threat in front of goal. But you can see we finish on 84 points ahead of Walsall on 80. Then Oldham, who we did beat in that last game, stay on 78 points. Stevenage on 77. Scumthorpe United make it in to that final spot in the uh, in the playoffs uh, for promotion. So they're on 72 points. Unlucky Mansfield. It just wasn't your year this year. But there we go, guys. Third place in our first season in charge of Broomsby Town. What can I say? I'm over the moon. If you guys did enjoy this video, as I said at the start, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new and you want to stay in contact with you know this particular season and as we progress forward into EFL League One then be sure to hit that subscribe button there will be a lot more videos coming out about FIFA 20 in this career mode so yeah guys I think that that is probably where I'm going to end it for now we're going to go ahead and sim forward through the summer periods uh, and through the off season and then when we come back to it in the next episode we're going to be playing our first couple of games in EFL League One